Action. Hello, welcome to Brian's Table Talks. Another few minutes of excitement and just talking, and sharing what's, what I'm thinking about. I want to give thanks to my pal Hal, who does the real work behind the scenes over there, recording this and putting it together. So I want to share a definition with you by author Justo Gonzalez. Definition of worship. An English word derived from worship, commonly used to translate the Greek patria and liturgia, what we call liturgy, or the Latin adoratio, adoration. To worship means essentially to recognize, celebrate, and praise God's majesty. As a result, it also means to acknowledge our own sin and unworthiness before God. Thus, worship is above all a recognition of God's majesty and grace. At this point, you're going, Brian, why are you reading a definition of worship? So I've been in the ministry for a few years now. I've been involved with the church for probably close on to 20 some odd years. And I always hear people say, well, you got to do this and this and this in worship. You got to have a certain type of music, a, uh, a certain type of preaching. Everybody has their own idea of what worship is and what it must be like. Well, and the reality is there are many different ways to worship, many different types of singing, many different types of way of being. One can recognize the majesty of God by sitting in silence, but one can also do it by dancing. One can be in the, feel the grace of God by sitting in a sanctuary. One can experience God's mercy by going on a hike in nature. Music, the Bible tells us there was tambourines and trumpets and drums, all sorts of types of music. So when somebody says, well, you got to have one type of music, well, that's not necessarily the case. We celebrate many different ways in our, in our lives. There are birthday parties that are small, birthday parties that are huge, anniversary celebrations that are just between the couple, others that are for friends and family. Worship is about focusing on God, what God has done, what God means to us, and realizing that there's a God, and it's not us. God is not contained in any one thing. I say this today, and it's on my mind today, because the world is a dynamic place. And there's so many churches, and everybody keeps wondering, which church do I agree with the most? And what I've always told people for a long time now is when you go to a church, don't find one that appeals to you. Find one where you can contribute to. Worship, there's many different ways to worship. How we worship changes with the day of the week. I preside over two worship services, an 8.30 and 10.30. People at the 8.30 service tend to be a little quieter. It's 8.30 on a Sunday morning. People at the 10.30 service tend to be a little bit more boisterous. They've had time to have breakfast and wake up. I've participated in contemporary worship. I've been in worship at a Catholic church, a Baptist church, and a Presbyterian church. It's all different. But they all recognize there's a God, and God is good. And what God has done for us is amazing, and we're not God. My friends, worship can take place on any day of the week and any day of the year. I invite you and I encourage you to be worshipful in everything you do. Be thankful for the God. Recognize God's presence and realize this is God's world. We dwell in it. We take advantage of it. We're stewards in it, but we're still God's children. All of us are God's children. Friends, I hope today is a great day for you. I hope you find joy and peace. Share some laughter, create stories, and build new relationships. Until next time, Brian Stable Talks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.